dollar and a dream. All I had was my city and my team. Never had no money and no green, yeah. Still I'm getting there, still I'm getting there. Y'all these hoes, you can't turn into no queen. You want that clout plus to be up on the scene, yeah. You're too sweet, whistle sauce up on the screen, yeah. Now you're getting there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Fan Club. It's your boy, D. Bros, Dan Bros, and in the building, we hope you guys are having an excellent day. You guys are being safe and healthy out there, or just staying home. If you do got to go to work, please wash your hands six feet away. You know, do your thing, guys. Well, we got some great news today. There are reports that Scholastic is working on a live action Goosebumps show. Now, if you remember correctly, you grew up in the 90s, you know that Goosebumps has already had a live action TV show before, and it was awesome. And yet, the the budget of these were super low, because they had like a new cast every episode, and they kind of just used the cheapest actors they could, but the stories were fun. Yeah, the special effects, very, very basic and low budget. But man, these stories are just awesome. I, I've i been reading Goosebumps since I was a kid, maybe like seven or eight. Like when you could start actually like reading the more advanced books. Not saying they're too advanced, but you guys know what I mean. Like you, you just don't start in kindergarten reading goosebumps you have to work up to those ones because the vocabulary in these is actually pretty good and the story concepts are a little bit more advanced and thing i loved about goosebumps is they were part comedic part spooky but nothing too crazy for kids like i never had horrible nightmares um but yeah i i actually loved goosebumps as a kid and now that we have it coming back Man, and we got Are You Afraid of the Dark coming back. All the spooky shows that we liked as kids are coming back. I wonder where it's going to go. I wonder if a network's going to pick it up or if like Netflix or Hulu is going to get it. I actually don't care as long as they do it right. You know, if you're going to do it bad, you might as well give it to us all at once so we can check it out and be done with it. But honestly, I think it's time. R.L. Stein. He gave us a legacy, and the shows were good. The movies were even better because there was a budget. I actually liked Goosebumps 1 and 2. Um, Goosebumps 1 was a little bit better. I wish that they would have kept the same cast for Goosebumps 2, and Jack Black was kind of barely in the movie. Like He came through like at the halfway or three-fourths point of the movie, and it was cool, but... It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but it wasn't bad either. So, Goosebumps 2, it was it was decent. Now, we've got a show, and I'm excited to see what network puts it picks it up. Are they going to do, like, all the old stuff? Or are they going to do the new Goosebumps books? Because there's a lot of Goosebumps books. I swear this guy puts out, like, five books a year. He's crazy. R.L. Stein is a G. Well, what do you guys think? Do you guys want to see, like, the Haunted Mansion or the the old school, um, what is it, the the mask, the, the the one with the Halloween store, you guys know what I'm, I ate the Haunted Mask or no, what was it called? It was the one where the girl gets that mask for Halloween and she can't take it off, that was one of my favorites. There was just so many good, good, good Goosebumps shows, and I'm hoping that they they do a few from back in the day to give us that nostalgia, but I am hoping that they use some of the new books, give us some new storylines. What do you guys think? Goosebumps, live TV show, coming soon from Scholastic and R.L. Stein. You heard it here first, folks. Yes, it is a report. Most of the time when these reports come out, it's smoke leading to the fire. So we do this a lot, and at the time, we're like, oh, it's it's not 100% real, but then later on, it's like, oh, we called that six months ago, so it happens. I have a feeling, though, that we're going to get a Goosebumps show. It's a very popular show, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Y'all have a good one. Peace. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. We appreciate all of the support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when we drop a new video. Also, make sure you check out our Square site and cop a brand new fan club t-shirt. If you got time, check us out on all other social media platforms. We love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Peace.